I want to salute you, homie, you know, for, for building your own thing and doing your own thing, creating your own platform, your own website. I got one life to live out my dreams, and I'm giving this thing all I got. I interview celebrities. I talk sports. I represent the culture. All right now, you're turning up on MrTalaferro.com, shawty. Yeah. All right, I'm Free Telefero, Mr. Telefero TV. How's everybody doing? What's going on? If you ain't subscribed to my channel, you watching this video, you played yourself, all right? Make sure you subscribe to my channel, show love, show support, and that love will be reciprocated in some kind of form of fashion, all right? Wale, um, can't do number respect Wale. Um, he dropped, I won't call it a diss record, but he, he responded to, to J. Cole's calling him out, how J. Cole did call him out on the Fake Profits record where he called out Kanye West and Wale. Well... Wale responded with the record of his own called Groundhog Day, playing on the fact that he's been the underdog his entire career. And to me, this wasn't Wale dissing J. Cole. It was a friend responding to a friend for the sake of his fans. Wale's like, look, man, you called me out in the public domain. I have the right to come back at you in the public domain. We still can be cool. We got love for each other. And I'll actually show you a little bit of their love for each other later on in his blog. But it's Wale saying, look, I got fans. I got people that support the kid. I got to do what's best for me. You called me out. Now I got to respond saying, I ain't a fake prophet. I don't know what the hell you talking about. I'm, I'm, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm really in this thing for the long haul. Don't get it twisted. You my mans, but don't play me like that, Cole. And, and, I, and I like what Wale did here. I'm going to read you some of the lyrics that Wale said. Some of them I get. Some of them, man, they're kind of scary. But we're going to, nevertheless, we're going to read them off, all right? So Wale opens the record off just pretty much talking about what Cole said. And he said, look, I know since I got my deal... And shit got real. I haven't been the easiest nigga to deal with. I'm heavenly flawed, but far from a false prophet. I'm a motherfucking honorable for Lauren. Cash is Muhammad, McGregor, Connor of these rap artists. Why you talking? Motherfucking Groundhog's Day. All right, he kept it going. The most highly underrated of my generation. Behind them crooked smiles, J. Cole. Niggas neglect to embrace me. Respect is in order now. My liquor is more to y'all. You throwing little shots, we catching cases. Lot of niggas hate to love me or they love to hate me. Labeled as reckless and crazy by my record label. This is where it gets kind of spooky for me. Wale said doctors say it's bipolar disorder. He's diagnosing me wrong. It's obviously depressing. Counting blue faces. Hey, here go that real shit. Battling anxiety and privately them Percocets. Purchased like 30 of them, murdered them in 30 hours, weight of the world on my shoulders. I bet I military press. I remember me and Cole would open for Hove. Every day a star is born. I guess I died in the womb. I ain't make it on Blueprint. So made me a Blueprint. You got a nice watch. My minutes wasn't finished. I was lost at Inner Scope. He went on to say thoughts of suicide because who going to want you alive when niggas used to want to ride with cry with all that high shit talking down in their interviews. I'm going to keep it moving. Uh, Wale went on to say some more real stuff. He said, ho say I'm the realest, most hated on Twitter, not to call a sit cause a situation, but what side of my biracial friends call me they nigga. Forget it, I'm just tripping. My, but my skin is made of chocolate. A copper's bullet is diabetic. My mind busy. I'm sad daily, though I deal with it. My therapist terrible. I'm terp and mellow, trembling. Shout out to Mellow Tremble, man. I love my brother, though. That's why it's rest in peace to Tommy. And we still bumping J. Cole in the outro. Um, pretty much. Wale said something that I thought was funny. I'm on my way to Raleigh, so grateful for that inspiration. I'll see you at the game, bro. All right. So after all that, that Wale said, I want to show you a clip from, um, get this. He wasn't lying. Wale and J. Cole were spotted at the game tonight. Check it out. Like, what is this? <laughs> we had the game, told you. So, so after all of this, Wale went lying in the lyrics. So, 
Well, I'm going to take this a couple places. You got to rock with the kid, all right? We're going to go a couple places. So Wale really was in line in the lyrics. They really did go to a game that night. I'm like, what the hell? Yeah, he really went to a game? This dude is so honest about his lyrics. That's what he meant by see you at the game. Because when I read it, when I heard it, I was like, what the hell is he talking about, see you at the game? Does he mean like the see you at the game of battling for number one with, with albums or something like that? What the hell is he talking about? And the fact that they really went to a game together and while they put J. Cole on the Snapchat is, damn, while they really live in his lyrics. But I'm going to take this another place. Because Wale was serious about going to the game with J. Cole, well, that means Wale was serious about what he was saying about the drugs he was on. Now, that's where it gets scary. That's where you only can get content like this on Mr. Telefero's channel. So when Wale was talking about using the Percocets, how he was popped 30 of them in 30 hours, that's where you get scary. That's where it gets scary and you start wondering, Wale, are you really this depressed because you feel like you can't enter the top class of rap. Wale, sir, if you don't enter the top class, and I and I told y'all this before on other blogs, and I'll do it again for the sake of new watchers. This is how I believe we look at rap. I believe there's a top tier, and I believe there's a tier B. That tier B is still great artists, all right? I believe Drake, Cole Kendrick in no specific order, Big Sean and Chance the Rapper round out that top class. In that second tier, I believe we have artists such as Wale, Big Crit, Fabulous. I believe that tier is, is, is led by Wale. I think he's right on the cusp outside of that first class. All right? Wale, even if you're in the B class, you still sell records, bro. You're still a respected artist, heavily respected artist in this game. What are you upset for? Wale, I've been to your sh a show of yours myself. A couple of them I've seen you perform live. Bro, these shows are wall to wall. Not a damn fact. You came to Knoxville about two years ago in the middle of the year, February. It's cold as hell outside. Wale, we were making trending topics trying to get in touch with you and kick it with you. Why? Because Wale's a very sociable person. We were making trending topics, try to get in touch with you, kick it with you. Bro, you got fans. Why are you doing drugs? You know, it's crazy because I remember vividly in an interview with The Breakfast Club, I think it might have been his last, actually the interview before last. I think this is the interview when he talked about Meek Mill extensively, then Meek Mill got upset with him with The Breakfast Club. Go check it out. Go, go fact check Mr. Telefer. Make sure you're right. In that interview, I'm pretty sure Wale was like, I know a lot of rappers who do drugs, who pop tr drugs that you wouldn't think they pop. Well, Wale, you're the guy. You the one on these Percocets talking about how you depressed, suicidal over your position in rap? Wale, bro, you got millions of fans out there, countries that are happy about you. DC always going to hold you down. Brother, Brother, is success driving you that much? You see, now it's all starting to make sense. J. Cole didn't call Kanye West out and Wale out to be the bad guys of rap. He called y'all out because he thought y'all lives were in danger. That's some deep shit. That's some way over your head type. Cole wasn't calling them out to try to take Drake's spot or Kendrick's spot or whatever you think about him. He wasn't doing that to try to come at Kanye or come at Wale. He seen somebody he looked up to, and he seen one of his friends. They are both in trouble right now for different but still similar reasons. Because the pressure of success is driving both of them nuts. You know, the irony is... A lot of people believe Kanye West has gotten away from the real music that he used to make. You know, the irony is Kanye West would love to be respected musically from the standpoint of people believing in lyric for lyric how we used to believe in Kanye. The irony is Kanye would look for that appreciation that Cole is getting and Wale would look for the, is, is looking for the appreciation that Kanye West is getting. It, that'll go over somebody's head, but it, I promise it made sense. Go run the vlog back if you if you want to make sense out of it. Um, it's it's crazy, and I'm not downplaying that Kanye's 
not a bigger artist than Cole. He's a bigger artist than Cole. But when you talk about respect, I believe J. Cole fans. Um, and I believe around the world, we, we believe what Cole is saying. And I think Ye's lost that a little bit, and he's searching for that back. Um, when you listen to records like I miss the old Kanye. But, man, very interesting stuff with J. Cole and Wale, man. But glad to see them in the game. Glad to see them at the game. It wasn't nothing personal. Um, but Wale, you're going to have to hear this record over and over again. My brother, J. Cole's album comes out December 9th, my brother. That album is the lead single. That song is going to stick with people forever. And uh, he's talking about you on it. And he's calling you out. Wale, my brother, I don't know what the help it is you need, my brother. But whatever you're going through, thinking about taking your life over rap when your career is incredible. You're not a D-level artist. Brother, you're a B, borderline A artist. A highly requested, highly booked artist whose music is still respected. I went through his hit records on a previous blog. You talk about Wale, Lotus, Flower Bomb, Bad. You got records, bro. You got records. Number one records. Life can't be that bad. Life can't be that bad. Wale, get it together. I'm calling you out now. Smaller platform, I ain't J. Cole, but I'm, I'm calling you out, Wale. Comment responses on this blog and other blogs. I go by the name of Alfred Telefero. You're currently tuning to Mr. Telefero TV. Now, if you enjoyed this video, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you watch this video. Watch other videos while you're on my channel. I got to thank you for the time, love, and support. I don't take it for granted. Salute. I'm out. Hey, first and foremost, I want to thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I would love if you watch other videos while you're on my YouTube channel. Now, while you're here, people ask me all the time, how can you support Mr. Telefero? Well, if you want to support me in my future endeavors, the first thing I want you to do is subscribe to my channel. If you subscribe to my channel, you get all my content first. Your subscribe goes a long way. I get to understand my demographics, understand who support me, who got something out this video. So first things first, a subscribe will go a long ways. Next, if you really rock with me, donate a dollar to my GoFundMe. I have a GoFundMe link in the description. If you really want to support me, just a dollar. Showing me that a dollar and some good wishes will go a long way. If you want to support me and you want to help me with my travels, I got a lot of things coming up, but I got to get them travel fees there. I got to find a way to get there. So that can help me financially if you really want to go there. Also, a word of encouragement. Thank you. Whatever it is, talk to me in my comment box below. Comment on this video, like, subscribe, do whatever you got to do this video. I got to thank you for your time. I don't take it for granted. My name is Mr. Telefero. Now, if you subscribe, help, donate, do whatever, you can see more videos like this, more new exclusive content. I got a lot on the way. Trust me. Thank you. It's Mr. Telefero.com.